千里之行，始于足下。A journey of a thousand miles begins beneath the feet. We now gather in the Tao to travel the journey together. Welcome to Tao Talks with Derek Lin, where we take a deep dive into the Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu. I would like to invite you to center your thoughts and direct your attention to this moment in time, to the here and now, to be fully present and mindfully aware. As we all ready ourselves for this sacred process of the Tao, so I want to depict what we just talked about in text format graphically. If you look at this slide, it's actually going to be talking about the same thing, except everything is going to be depicted in graphics. Which my understanding is that for many people. Picture is worth a thousand words. It's actually easier to see it depicted this way, so that you can grasp at a single glance. So we start out in this graph on the left-hand side with something that needs to be done, something that you want to do, whatever that is. This can be this can be widely applicable. It could be a a big project. It could be a task. It could be an errand that you need to run. Something you want to do for yourself, something you want to get, whatever that is, it's something that needs to be done. So then, we talked about the random approach. So this is where you don't have a plan, and you're not sure what to do. The random approach means you try random things. You throw enough stuff on the wall and hope that something sticks. Hope for the best. Something's gonna work, right? Maybe I'll get lucky. Well, I think you have all seen in life, actual examples in life, including our own personal experience, that it doesn't work. The random approach hardly ever works. It leads to failure for the vast majority of the times. Now we talked about how some people can overcorrect from the random approach. To an approach that's not random, but very rigid, very inflexible, and that's the second path here. Instead of lacking a plan, you've got a a plan full of rigidity, exact steps, and a complete lack of flexibility. You must do things X, Y, Z. You must not vary from the plan. And you can easily imagine what will happen is that you're going to run into an obstacle, one or more obstacles, and you lack the flexibility to work around those obstacles. So the obstacle stops you cold. This leads to frustration, failure as well. So learning from the two unsuccessful paths, we then. Formulate the better approach based on Tao principle of moderation. We want to have a plan that is not too loose. And when I say too loose, I mean very little or no planning at all. And we don't want something that is too tight, that has no flexibility whatsoever. You want both planning and flexibility. So that means not just one plan with set steps, but a plan that is thoughtful, with alternatives built in, with contingencies. It's a flexible approach, so you will never be stuck. You think in advance on what you are likely to encounter, and then you figure out in advance what the likely solution would be if you were to encounter that. So pre-plan those anticipated obstacles, and obstacles always occur. So in this plan, in this plan, it will occur as well. But at least you have flexible flexibility built in. You've got alternative paths that you can pursue. So 
you take another path around the obstacle that you encounter. You continue on your way, perhaps you encounter more obstacles, in which case you repeat this process of the flexible approach until you are clear of all the obstacles, then you move on to successful completion. So eventually you, like a mountain stream, you flow around obstacles when you encounter them. You continue on your way. Eventually, you reach your destination. The green circle here, perhaps the destination for the mountain stream is a lake. Perhaps it is the ocean. Perhaps it is joining another stream to merge with that stream and continue flowing together. Our meeting has come to an end, but the journey continues on. Let us all travel safely so we can meet again. Until next time, may the Dell fill you with peace and happiness.